Well, I think events like this are very important for the industry. I mean, number one, any event, event like Global Aerospace Summit brings the industry together. And in today's day where innovation is so important, and in our point of view, innovation in ecosystems to make things happen is important, it gives us a venue for doing that. And I think Global Aerospace Summit's a little bit different than things like the air shows we have in Paris or in Frambro or even come up here in Dubai, because those shows are more about engaging in the business of doing business. I think the Global Aerospace Summit, the way it's set up, is more about engaging in the topics that are affecting the industry, affecting the businesses in the industry, and how we can come together to discuss those topics and potentially drive out new ideas, new solutions. So I think it's a fairly unique event. Well, I think a couple things. First of all, I think the sector itself is being impacted by a number of things that are causing disruption. I mean, one of them is really just the demand on the supply chain. And while there's some temporary you know, challenges with uh, deliveries around certain aircraft, you know, overall, the demand is very strong and it's increasing. And it's being driven by passenger revenue expectations, primarily coming out of Asia and to some degree the Middle East. And that's putting a lot of pressure on the system. The second thing that's happening is we still have a, you know, a number of places where there's you know, technology disrupting both the products themselves, whether it's aircraft engines, as well as the operational technologies and the businesses that design, build, and maintain those, those products. We also see new entrants and new business models coming into play, whether it's model-based engineering to develop the trainer, uh, formerly known as TX, that Boeing used, or new entrants like Elon Musk and SpaceX really changing the dynamic. And finally, we have the workforce itself. There's tremendous pressure on workforce, I'm primarily looking at STEM graduates in Europe and in North America. There just flat out aren't enough of them for the demand. And then when we look at those we're going to need in the aerospace industry, we see conflicting you know, challenges with those same STEM graduates we would typically have counted on going to other companies that are now working in aerospace, non-traditional companies like Amazon or Google, right, that are new places for careers. And I used the example in Seattle, University of Washington, when you graduated there you know, 10 years ago with an aerospace engineering degree, you pretty much knew you are going to be working at a company called Boeing. Today, you might choose to work downtown at a company called Amazon. So those are really driving a lot of disruption in the industry.